Hi, thanks for watching this Axeman video tutorial on the difference between I and P in frame rates and how to deinterlace using Vegas. Quick note on Vegas, recently Sony has sold the Vegas product to Magix. Magix has released Vegas Pro 14 and I've made the upgrade, so you'll notice a slight difference in the way Vegas looks now. And by slight, I mean extremely slight. The layout and functionality are the same, so the previous tutorials in this series are still applicable. The major changes include new icons here and there, better performance and workflow, and I've noticed they've included this handy batch rendering feature, which is awesome and is something I'll be adding to this tutorial series. Series. Anyways, let's get started with the difference between I and P in your frame rates. P stands for progressive. I stands for interlaced. Progressive means your frame rate is, as you would imagine it, solid images progressing one after another on the timeline. For example, if you have a 30p video, you will actually have 30 images per second. Interlaced, on the other hand, is where interlocked images are generated in between two frames to give you the illusion of a higher frame rate. For example, if you have a 60i video, what you actually have are 30 images per second with a fake frame generated, blending two images in between each frame, giving you the 60 frames. So what's better? P. P is always better. So if P is better, then why does I exist? Well, interlaced frame rates have a place in this world because it does save on your file sizes. And, well, that's the only reason I can come up with. But that's good for your home videos or if you're trying to cram a bunch of footage onto a disc or into a lower file size for a client that wants to be able to email the video. But if you want the best quality, you'll want to make sure that you're shooting in P, progressive, frame rates. Unfortunately, as an editor, you don't always have control of the recording process. You're often given interlaced videos to work with. But don't worry, you can de-interlace an interlaced video. And here's how. In previous versions of Vegas, you could simply right-click on the video in your timeline, select Properties, select Disable Resample, and in the Media tab, change the field order to None, Progressive, and then click OK. But as you can see here in Magix's new version, that did nothing. Now, with this new version of the software, we'll want to use this handy Use Project Resample mode. So we'll switch the video options back to how they were originally, and now select Use Project Resample mode. And now in our project properties, we'll see that we have the options to toggle the deinterlace method. Right now, mine is set to none, which is why we're seeing these awful doubled up lines on my hand in motion. Let's try Blend Fields and click Apply. That's better, but we've still got these two hands, so let's try interpolate fields, hit apply. Ah, much better. Since I'm happy with that, I'll click OK, and there you have it.